Adobe always surprises me sometimes with, with some of the features that they come out with. They're features I would just never have expected. And removing reflections is one of those features. I always just figured it was it was, it was a thing that, you know, if you got a reflection in your photo and it was within in the perfect spot, maybe you could remove it. But for the most part, it is what it is. Uh, but recently they added a technology preview into Adobe Camera Raw, which I, I'll talk about what a preview is in, in just a minute here. Um, but it's, it's essentially a one-click way to remove a reflection. The way I would approach this is you're, you're not going to, I would never say go out and just take pictures with, with reflections and say, I'll fix it later. Okay. That's never the, the best way to, to get the best photo, but there are times I know I get a lot of questions on removing reflections and there are times when it's just not possible to take the photo without it, or maybe you've got an old photo. And you can't go back to yourself and you know you want to salvage it and say, oh, I should have done it better. Uh, so if you want to salvage that old photo, hopefully this can help out. Let's take a quick look. Now, I, I looked through my photo library. I ended up just putting a, a, a this Christmas tree thing on a floor in my house. I, I, I spent a few minutes looking through my photo library. I, I don't really have many reflection photos that I love. I, I usually delete them. I'm sure if I looked hard enough, I'd find something, but I didn't, so uh, I, I took a photo, and I know this is a problem. I know it's it's probably just me. I know a lot of people have a photo that they need to salvage because I get questions on this a lot. But what, as luck would have it, my cat went and sat next to the Christmas tree, so very very much a cuter photo than than the original one. There, um, this is a raw only feature, so I, I just took it with my phone in, in raw mode. It's a raw only feature. So then you go into Photoshop, you do file open, and it'll open up, uh, if you're in Photoshop, it'll open up into Adobe Camera Raw if it's a raw photo. Then you're gonna come up here to this little gear icon in the top right, and you're gonna click on that, and you're gonna go to technology previews and turn on that little checkbox. If it's not turned on already, you might've done this. Uh, Adobe released some other features a couple of months ago that are in these technology previews. I insert the word beta whenever I see technology previews. It's not ready for prime time yet. Uh, I've gotten emails of conspiracy theories. Adobe must be trying to get us away from Lightroom because they're doing all this stuff in camera raw. I, I, I think that's a, a little bit outlandish to say. I think um, that's the furthest from the truth. I think camera raw doesn't get used as much as Lightroom and they get these technology previews in there. It's almost a little bit of a testing ground, okay? So that's why you have to turn it on. It's not, it's, this is not an update to camera raw. This is a, this is a basically you've downloaded a beta feature if, if you wanna call it that. Um, so you've gotta go in there and turn it on. And I, I believe as soon as they, they, they've done enough testing with it that uh, it'll make it into prime time inside of Lightroom and camera raw where you don't have to turn it on. So just click OK there. Then you're going to go to the, uh, I would not recommend doing many adjustments to the photo at this point. Uh, I would say just leave it alone. Head over here to that little eraser tool in the toolbar on the right hand side. And then you're going to see distraction removal reflection. So if you've done everything and you've turned on previews and you don't see this, you'd have to contact Adobe. It's not anything I could help you with. But uh, if everything works OK, you'll see distraction removal here. You'll see reflections as one of the options. And then all you got to do is go and click on it. I had already run this on the photo, so I think it, it took maybe 10 seconds or so uh, to, to run on the photo, but I had already done it and that's why it happened as fast as it did. But let's go to the little eyeball icon over here. That's before and that's after. Now there's also a little adjustment slider that is right below that. And speaking of things that are right below, if you were to look right below me, you should see a sale banner for my Photoshop how-to course. How's that for a segue? into a very quick word from our sponsor. I promise I'll only take another 30, 45 seconds. Uh, my Photoshop how-to course is, it's kind of like the ultimate FAQ course for Photoshop. So think of it as it's a cohesive place to go get your most common questions answered. It's not a beginner's course, so nothing starts from scratch. It's not a super advanced course. It's positioned right in the middle there just to get your common questions answered. Uh, layers is a very popular topic, so how to do different things with layers compositing and whatnot. Also selections, um, how to do different things with selections, make different selections, retouching, removing distractions, and again, all the other most common things in Photoshop as well, as which will soon be added to the course because I do keep adding to it, is uh, how to remove reflections. So you can go check out the course on the webpage. Again, it's one cohesive way to get all these questions answered rather than fragments you find on the internet and uh, very affordable, very easy to watch. I hope you'll swing by and find out more.
Okay, uh, back over to our tutorial. We had left where we turned on reflections and you could see that was the before, that was the after. Uh, pretty cool because you could see not only, not only does it, does it make the reflection go away, which there were tricks we could use with levels and curves to help a reflection. But it, I think it's pretty cool that you could see that little drain uh, area in the pavers that's going through my cat's uh, ear and head there. It removed that, it removed that chair. So uh, it's done a better job than, than some of the techniques that, that we would have done to try to help a reflection photo before. And it's of course done it auto automatically, which is uh, pretty cool. So uh, is it perfect? No, but pretty darn cool. And I mentioned that there is this little adjustment slider that's below. Uh, it's generally, at least every time I run it, it, it cranks it up to 100, but pretty neat. So you could take it down, take it down to zero. That's the original photo, but go negative with it and you can see what it's doing there. So it actually, it's almost like a distraction removal tool, which would be interesting to see if Adobe ever does anything with that as well. So, but uh, whenever they go negative with a slider, sometimes pretty cool things can happen. Anyway, uh, just crank that up to 100 and you've got your photo there. Then you can go back and do any edits and of course uh, click open and that'll take you into the Photoshop interface if you need to do any more. So as I, uh, as I said in the beginning, it's one of those features, I, I didn't personally see Adobe coming out with this, but uh, I'm, I'm happy they did. It is a question I get uh, quite often. And if it's a photo that you need help with, this, this could really be a lifesaver. While you're here, if you're looking for another video to go watch, uh, another question I get a lot is about plugins and different plugin workflow between what Lightroom Classic and how you can get into plugins from there, because there are a couple of ways, uh, or Lightroom or Photoshop and what some of the differences are in using plugins. So if you're looking for a video to go watch next, that's a perfect one to check out.